they're fucking, they're fucking you. Like, they're just as bad as vegans, and that's why Colleen and I call it veganism 2.0. And this is exactly what I saw when I looked into Tristan's cookbook. When I looked into Tristan's cookbook, I was like, wow, like, so basically the difference between these recipes and a vegan cookbook is like the occasional tablespoon of lard. That's it! That's it! That's fucking it, okay? So he's got this vinaigrette dressing, and this big salad, and this kale thing, and these tomatoes, and grind up this green shit, and put it in here with your that, and here's how you should eat eggs, oh yeah. Make some greens in with your eggs, like, oh, yummy, oh, I can't wait to have some greens with my eggs so that the, the greens can actually block out and cancel any fucking nutrients that the eggs might actually fucking provide. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? So, today we are going to be talking about Daphne's tea spill number five. And in Tristan's own words, is a spiteful, trashy woman who neutered her husband, got sick from her eating disorder, and therefore all plants are evil. Anyone who doesn't agree is an evil shill and was hashtag never really carnivore. How many times have I said that the anti-vegan crowd is full of people just as mentally ill as vegan you? Oh, Tristan. You're a funny dude. I think you're my new favorite carnivore now. But anyways, essentially what happened here is that Daphne purchased uh, Tristan's cookbook, which is a keto cookbook, and she is triggered by the fact that it has vegetables in it, right? Like, this is a girl who believes the earth is flat, water is an addiction, and that all fruits and vegetables are going to kill you. Right? Like, so she's just so damn triggered that, you know, ooh, he's not primal enough because he has vegetable recipes in his cookbook. Burr, 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 burr. Now, this started with my friend Colleen, who has been messaging me um, religiously regarding how pissed off she is that the ketogenic community, the carnivore community, the primal community, all are still doing vegetable worship. Nobody, nobody needs to be making or eating broccoli muffins. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> okay, listen, there's a special place in hell reserved for people mashing up broccoli and turning it into a muffin. And that place is very hot. It's a very hot place <laughs> in hell that is reserved. Not even in my carrot juicing days would I ever have dreamed of making a fucking broccoli muffin. Oh my god, like just the thought, the thought of it. And then there were like various other versions of that, uh, like a beet muffin and like... Cauliflower. Ca oh my god, the worst. Like, goitrogen's out the asshole and they're like, ooh, we're promoting primal lifestyle. All right, guys. I mean, we can sit here and laugh all day about vegetable worship and broccoli muffins, which, yes, that does actually sound pretty disgusting. <laughs> but, you see, laughing about it, that's not the issue here. See, the issue here is that Daphne purchased this book, this is Tristan's work here, and, you know, she's essentially just, like, emailing her friend the, the file where she's not paying for that like you know she's essentially just ripping him off and then to add more to insult she's flashing these you know pages of his cookbook like in her video which if you were wondering why I have those like random funny pictures of Tristan you know that right like I, I'm doing that out of respect because I, I didn't want to like flash his ebook because right like I may not agree with Tristan on diet here but I do respect people's work and I just think that's so wrong of Daphne to do. This is six months after we ended our conversations with her when she obsessively and awkwardly emailed us looking for attention and validation. This is what happens when you make diet an idol. Cool copyright infringement, lady. Daphne the Flat Earth Nurse deletes comments defending us. But personally, I don't believe 
that Earth is flat. I know that Earth is flat. And in a lot of cases, they're paintings. Actually, in most of the cases, they're paintings. And I'm not sure that people truly understand what that means. And what that means is that we're paying hard-earned tax dollars to people who lie to us and tell us that they know more than we do and give us pictures of oil paintings. And the shit that National Geographic has been putting off as real science is just astounding. Like, they have the most bullshit, they have the most oil paintings I've ever seen passed off as real science. What do we do with these books that are filled with lies, that are filled with oil painting after oil painting after mother fucking oil painting? What do we do with these books? And then, you know, the question of like the other science books and the, the dinosaur bullshit. These, these books, a lot of these books need to be carved up, torn up, burnt, shred, and turned into biomass and never fucking seen again or heard of. Like, they need to be buried. There needs to be a massive book burning. Burn all the science books! NASA and National Geographic are liars! It's oil paintings! Burn all the books! Woo! I mean, seriously, what is this girl smoking? Because I can guarantee you... Daphne and Charles Marlowe are smoking from the same stash here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Daphne, 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 Daphne. I'm at a loss for words. I mean, all I can say is this girl has some paranoid delusions. And she's a moron, but even more importantly, she's a friggin' snake. You know, I do see this. I do think Tristan is right. Like, she is sort of just like desperate for attention and then when people don't give it to her she lashes out so you know what I'm really doing her a favor by making this video you're getting attention now Daphne all right guys so this concludes my little drama video I have for you today and until next time I hope you're well and I'll see you very soon peace out bye